Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Hopefully the audio is okay on this. Actually, maybe for your sake, I hope the audio isn't good because <laughs> at least twice a week I get comment about my voice. It's so high, I can't stand it. So I decided I'm going to, there's a new surgery where you can have your voice box altered so your uh, voice sounds deeper and it won't be as high pitched. Just kidding. <laughs> maybe there is a surgery, but I I'm not doing it, so. Uh, anyway, but it is high pitch. That's how I get my nickname, Squeaks, because of my voice. This camera's okay. Stay bright, stay bright, stay bright. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. On to today's video. Actually, I was a little interested. I, I'm always searching online and things, and I came across uh, a Reddit thread. It's typically about like microblading and permanent makeup and things like that. But uh, anyway, you know what? After my foray into uh, microblading I wouldn't do it again it hurt and I just didn't like how it looked so anyway uh but now there's a lot of different permanent makeup and I just I always wondered are trends going to change I mean something that looks good now in three years is the trend going to change but I have seen a couple posts on people trying to get um freckle tattoos none of them looked good at all yeah so if you're thinking about getting a freckle tattoo don't do it. I mean, and I have a feeling freckles, I mean, maybe they're in today. I don't know. May will be out tomorrow. I, I, I don't know. But it just, it just seemed, I, if you do it, go to a very good artist. Because, yeah, I don't know, some of those pictures, I just feel bad for the people. Uh, anyway, so I thought my eyebrows were bad when I got them done. But uh, we sent two freckles. So, okay, on to today's video. So today, I got asked about masks about a week or a couple weeks ago. I don't talk about masks a lot because, in my opinion, if you're on a budget, masks, out of everything, probably next to cleanser, they spend the least amount of time on your skin. So it's not worth investing a lot of money in. But these are a few masks that, in my opinion, are the only ones worth spending money on. You can spend as much as you want on masks. You know, there's masks that are 100 or more. You can spend a lot of them on masks. And in my opinion, these are the ones that are worth considering for certain skin issues or skin types, things like that. Overall, in general, if you're on a budget, spend more on a good sunscreen that you like. You know what I mean? Or a foundation or a vitamin C serum, things like that. So, um, okay, without further ado, some mask. This is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Mask, which it's, it's actually, um, when it comes out, it's black. And it's got salicylic acid and charcoal in there. And it actually is very gentle and exfoliating. And you can apply it to your skin. I would typically recommend using your evening routine. Um, applying to skin, leaving it on. How often do they say? A few minutes. I think they say, uh, what skin? Do not leave on more for more than 10 minutes. I typically leave it on for like five or six. And then rinse it off. And it's kind of a nice um, gentle exfoliant. And kind of leaves your skin feeling soft and smooth. And it's really nice. And the salicylic acid in there, which... Typically works best in a leave-on product, but a little bit of it occasionally is a nice kind of exfoliant. Leave your skin nice and glowing and kind of soft and apply a nice face oil or moisturizer and down with it. And it's really nice. It's 13 bucks, And uh, one of my favorite products from The Ordinary. That and their Squalane Cleanser and their Copper Peptide Serum are probably my top three. So this one's worth checking out. Next up, Dermatology brand. Their Pumpkin Enzyme Mask is really nice. It's a gentle exfoliating mask. And what do they say on this one? Leave it on for 10 minutes. It's just nice. It's kind of got some bigger exfoliating beads. So once you apply it, just leave it on. Don't do too much smoothing it in. Um, there's another brand that had masks similar to this. I think it was Cora Organics that had a pumpkin-based mask. Peter Thomas Roth also. Uh, I've tried all of them. They're all really nice. This one would be my favorite. It does a really nice job exfoliating your skin. I wouldn't recommend using it too often. Maybe once a week at the most. And if you use a lot of exfoliants every night or every other night, just be cautious of that because doing a little bit too much exfoliation can be not a good thing. But this one overall is really nice. We've got pumpkin ceramides, um, some peptides. Uh, what else? Fragrance that smells like um, pumpkin. So and it's just nice, gentle exfoliating, but don't do much, too much rubbing. And then when you go to rinse it off, if you can rinse it off like under a shower head, that's the best bet because... Too much rubbing, it can be too much, you know, kind of too scratchy. So, um, actually, a lot of these are just exfoliating masks. Okay, next up, Versed. This is the Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. This one's really, actually, it's got a really cool, like, jelly-like texture to it. Let's 
four. There we go. Yeah, it's got a really nice jelly texture. No scent. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't really smell like anything, but this one's a nice one. You can leave it on uh, for even shorter. They recommend two to three minutes. So it's just a really nice HA uh, mask. It's got some pineapple in there. So this is another one you'd maybe use like every other week uh, at night. Uh, don't leave it on very long and then rinse it off. It's really nice and pretty gentle. Uh, so if your skin is super sensitive, uh, maybe start out leaving it on like one minute and maybe work your way up. So this one's really nice and it's 15 bucks. So you can't go wrong with that. For oilier skin types, the Papa Recipe Eggplant Mud Mask is really nice. And uh, this one I, I think was one of the very first key beauty products I ever tried was this mask. And I really liked it. it uh, it's purple when you apply it. You can kind of see. But it's got some clay. It's nice. It soaks up some oil. It's got some exfoliating beads in there. So I would recommend this for oilier skin types or uh, during the summer if your skin tends to get a little bit oily. This one's a nice one. It does soak up some oil and then a little bit of physical exfoliation. And it's really nice. And I'm trying to remember this. I know it has fragrance in it, but I just, when I, I don't remember any smell to it. But when I was looking at the ingredient list for it this morning, the fragrance is in it, but I, I didn't smell it. So, which is a good thing. So there you go. Okay, a couple more. Next up, the Urban Skin RX. What do they call it? It's the Hyper Fade Skin Intense Cream. Uh fading cream so when i bought this i actually thought it was a moisturizer so to my surprise it's not a moisturizer it's just a rinse off cream and you uh directed to use it. i believe they directed to use it uh every night before cleansing use once a day before cleansing apply a thin layer to dry skin and leave on for 15 to 20 minutes and uh so i bought this thing as a moisturizer but i once i read the back i didn't leave it on thankfully it does have a very strong smell of um sulfurish there's no fragrance in it. I think the uh, active ingredient they use in here, cystamine, is, uh, gives it kind of a chemical strong scent. But thankfully, you're not leaving it on for any length of time. You're going to rinse it off. So I'm all over different types of things to use for hyperpigmentation melasma. And so far, this one has been uh, nice. It's got a pretty short ingredient list. That's the ingredient list. And it's full of uh, good brightening ingredients. So I don't know. This brand makes a lot of stuff geared towards um, skin with hyperpigmentation. So if you have other issues like that, this brand is worth checking out. Um, and this one's kind of expensive. It's 52 bucks. So I'll have to see if there's a dupe for it. But I remember I was looking, I didn't, I couldn't find any dupes and that's why I ended up buying it. So, uh, okay, a couple more. Next up, the Costa Rex HA, BHA, PHA, LHA, Peel. <laughs> it's a mouthful. What is this one? Uh, nine bucks right now at Yes Style. This one is a nice peel. You're going to leave it on. It's... Uh, pretty red when you look at it can you see that uh when you apply it so for me i only use this on my nose and i use a little bit on my chin that is it for me uh this is kind of a in my opinion a more gentle dupe to the one from the ordinary which tends to be too harsh uh and i will not be happy if i use this on my whole face but if i just use it where i'm prone to get blackheads or clogged pores then it's great. Some people maybe use it on your T-zone, forehead, nose, or for some people, maybe the whole face. But just be careful with it because it is uh, on the stronger side. But those PHA and LHA, those are much more gentle exfoliants. So, yeah. So, they say use once a week. Leave on for no more than 10 minutes. And then when you rinse it off, apply moisturizer afterwards. Uh, the next one, I just gave uh, a jar to my friend and I just reordered on YesStyle, the I'm From Honey Mask. It's really nice. It's uh, right now, yes, it's 26 bucks. Uh, I have it in my car. I'm going to order it again. Uh, it's really nice. It smells like honey. It has fragrance in it, but I do find it nice and hydrating, kind of calming, and it does seem to give my skin a little bit of extra moisture. And it was also one of the earlier skincare products I ever used. And then I have a couple runners up um, the Purito Hydro Drop Sweet Gel Mask. This one's really nice. It's almost empty. And this one is. Um, kind of similar to the honey mask in a way the texture and things it's kind of got that goopy you know slippery texture it feels nice and hydrating and calming and then last but not least um the beauty of Josen glow rice mask if you guys want me to review it let me know i and i certainly can this one's got some nice physical exfoliating properties but it also uh is hydrating but it also soaks up oil so when you rinse it off your skin just feels nice and clean and bright and soft 
not oily, not too greasy, nothing like that. So it's a kind of a nice um, in-between type product, just like, uh, what is their toner? Their toner is kind of the same where it's hydrating, but won't leave your skin feeling greasy. And I think they probably formulate it for both dry and oily skin where they probably could have done a little bit differently and made one version for each, but uh, yeah, then it gets out of control with their lineup, so I get it. So um, anyway, so those are some of my favorites. I probably, I don't know how many masks I've used in the years. Dare I say a hundred maybe? That might be pushing it, but probably a lot. And yeah, so masks, they're, they're fun. They're nice to treat yourself. And if you're going to get something, I, I like these better than like a sheet mask in general. Because a sheet mask, I just find they're messy. And uh, and they're kind of wasteful. So I, sometimes I'll use it like if I'm vacuum cleaning or something like that. I have some that I like. But anyway, I typically like these a little bit better. So anyway, Lincoln says hi. You want to say hi, Lincoln? No, no, he's kind of out of here. So anyway, interest hearing from you guys. If you have any mask favorites, uh, leave a comment and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.